Chris Dimp says we should play What Movie Did I See Over the Week? I said I'm getting ready to, uh, it's not about the movie, it's about the theater experience. And I'm going to sound like an old guy, there's no question about it, but what movie do you think I saw this weekend? You want to guess? You want to take a guess? B.B. Shea? Uh, I'm going to say The Whale. And he's not The Whale. I call that The Pig by accident, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so definitely not that one. Not oh, that yeah. One. <laughs> It's not that one. I think you want to see Megan, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but your old the the ghost of your old clout chasing Academy Award self made you see Tom Hanks in a man called Otto. It is not <laughs> Ooh, a man called Otto. <laughs> Over to you, Dave. I will go with Megan. <laughs> Robot doll. <laughs> Robot doll. Because you pass that billboard every day and you see her up there. I got to tell you, <laughs> this thing just looked fun to me. So I said to my daughter, who's 14, I checked it out. It's okay. Good for 13 plus. And let's go see a movie. She loves these horror movies. She saw a horror movie called The Black Phone. This is how little I pay attention. Biggie reviewed it for his uh, Halloween reviews. <laughs> my daughter said... I want to see this movie called The Black Phone. It's on one of our streaming apps. And I said, oh, my gosh, Mr. Boogie just reviewed that a couple of months ago. And she goes, did he like it? And I said, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up with that. I don't know Girl. If, if he liked it or not. I said, mm -hmm. I, I don't even remember. But she wanted to see that. I said, let's go to the theater and see Megan because it looks like it's going to be a, it's a lot of fun. You know, it looks, doesn't it look fun? Yeah, sure. It's, it's fun. got good reviews. Okay, well, it's, yeah, it's doing really well, isn't it? It it is a really good movie. It's it is fun and scary all at the same time. You know, not too like over the top mm -hmm. scary. It's perfect for us. I'll tell you though, that doll is as creepy as it gets. Yeah. You know that thing. Even when it was supposed to not be creepy, it was like you know, yeah. staring at you. You're like, good God, With those big eyes. Yeah, it's really good. You know who's in it is uh, Brian Williams' daughter. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, now I like her. I know you do. What does she play? Uh, she is the doll's inventor. And the uh, the way it, the the very first I shouldn't give too much away, but she no. has to take custody of a little girl, her niece, and she wants to cheer her up, and so she makes this doll for her, mm -hmm. and the doll all of a sudden starts becoming more human, you know, and and evil, but it's it's a really good movie. I would recommend it, especially if you just like just fun, scary stuff. And so I really enjoyed it. I'm sure Biggie will review it in October mm -hmm. when his movie reviews come around. Did you get some good previews or other films? A lot of horror movies, mm -hmm. none of which looked great. There's a new M. Night Shyamalan movie out. Uh, Knock at the Knock Cabin? Cabin. It's an unusual title. Strange. I didn't know the concept of it. It's like uh, it's, it's two guys and they're two kids in a cabin. And somebody comes knocking at the door, four people, and said, well, one of you has to be sacrificed to save humanity. And it's been going on like this for for a million years, we pick uh, one person in this cabin, and so the two guys and the they have to decide which one to sacrifice. Mm. But anyway, here's my whole point. My wife said, "Are you going to get these tickets, uh, you know, through the phone?" And I'm like, "Oh God, <laughs> I got to do so." I said, "She said you have Findingo." <laughs> oh, well, do you? <laughs> Yes, but it's being treated. <laughs> <laughs> I get a, is that what it's called? <laughs> well, I still have that app. I've, I've ordered one movie ticket on that for Top Gun Maverick last year. Mm -hmm. So I go to Fandango, and it said, how did you enjoy Top Gun Maverick? That <laughs> 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 was great. Tell Tom, with, I really liked it. Right. I mean, you know, I, I tell you what. This movie was at 4.30 on, here's another guessing game, 4.30 on Saturday. How much money for to order through Fandango for me and my daughter to go see a movie at 4.30? Right. And I, she's an adult now. She's 14. I didn't know the exact ages, but I felt like over 12. So it's two adults to go to the movie Saturday for the for the tickets. Two tickets. Uh, I don't go to the movies that much anymore. Me neither. Um, I'll guess just the tickets, um, probably 19 bucks. Twenty-seven fifty. Wow! For two tickets. Now that's including the Fandango and all that. Mm. At the end, they were like, "Buy these tickets for twenty-seven twenty-seven fifty. What's each ticket? Twelve, twelve dollars and five cents. Wow! And then they add their 
Okay. A uh, little surge. It's not considered a matinee at that time anymore. Four thirty? I guess not. And I, mean, I don't think they do that traditional matinee pricing much anymore. We need Is the that money. Right? I don't think they do like the bef- in the old days. If you went to a film before seven p.m., right, it was matinee. You get a daytime price. I felt like I think those are gone. Well, yeah, here's how I am. Uh, we had the choice of the four thirty or the five thirty, and I told Moan, "I'll go to the four thirty. That'll be the matinee. Five, maybe. The- There's no demarcation line. Yeah, anymore. I don't I, think. I think that may have gone yeah, away. They need the cash. So, well, I said. Uh, you know, people don't go to the movies like they used to, of course. Is this part of it? I mean, my God, $27 for me and my daughter to go see a movie? I mean, that, you know, it's all streaming and this and that, but it's like, people, why would they go to it? Well, you can wait a few weeks, yes, a few months. Yes, And uh, uh, then we get in the theater. And now I was, I said to my wife, probably we'll just be able to walk right to the theater. Nobody's even there to check us. But they did. They, they had their scanner oh. and checked us in. And then my daughter said, well, we need some snacks. Yeah. And I said, now, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Daddy's we, mad. I said, I'm mad right now. <laughs> We're pushing 30 bucks on this thing already, girl. Already we're at 30 now. Okay? Just walked in the door. Right. So she, we go up to the concession stand. and You can't have anything. No. Is the theater busy? Or are the people there? It was pretty crowded. I was surprised our theater was pretty crowded. So we go in. We go up to the concession stand. Try to pick your seats ahead of time? Yes. I did. Well, that's another story. Okay, but we first the concession. We go into the concession, right. and she says, "What would you like?" I said, "The smallest popcorn you got." And my daughter said, "And I want some Sour Patch Kids." There's a box of Sour Patch. All right. right. I said, "All right." Bo- uh, the, I said, "The smallest popcorn you got, mm-hmm. and some Sour Patch Kids, and, and a my, drink, and a water, water, <laughs> a bottle." I said, "Cup." She said, <laughs> "Fountain." Okay, yeah. And do you know what the woman said? She goes, a bottle is cheaper. I was like, what are you talking about a bottle is cheaper? She goes, by the cup, we have to just, you know, it's like a soft drink. Yeah, guys, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. I said, all right, give me a bo- the smallest bottle of water. We you got to run to the men's room and just run the tap? Yeah. Well, I was going <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, honey. I would have dunked it in the back of the toilet. <laughs> well, the tank is clean. clean. Look, <laughs> they clean the tank. Go get some tepid city Come water. On. Come on. <laughs> Guess what that ran me? Small Let's popcorn. Let's see. Small popcorn. Sour patch. Kids sour patch. And a small bottle, bottle of water. 15 bucks. 20. Yeah. <laughs> $20. Easy. Easy. Yeah. 20. Now, I don't want to sound like an old guy, but for me and my daughter to go see Megan, we spent $47.75. And daddy cents. didn't snack. And I didn't have a bite. I yeah. didn't have anything. I got a bowl later mm-hmm. at somewhere else, a Mediterranean bowl. And I just like, so you're in for almost 50 bucks, almost $50 for two people to go to the movies and get very few snacks. And mm-hmm. I just said, okay, oh, come yeah. on, now, come on. This is, but it's experience. You were with your daughter. It was well, a Saturday I afternoon. It. Oh, I had a nice time and the movie was very good. Now we get in there and two people are sitting in our seats. Oh. I Uh-oh. picked D five and D six. I'll middle. I want to. Right in the center. Just the, the full cinematic experience. Yes, and behind the um, handicap row, because I like to stretch out. Right on. And so I picked that intentionally. So I had D5 and D6. And we get in there, and right there, sitting in D5 and D6, are two other people. And I hate confrontation. Mm-hmm. And so I said to my daughter, we'll just sit in D3 and 4 or whatever. Well, as the previews are coming off, <laughs> here come three more people. They come had, three and four? We have, well, they had one, two, and three. I'm like, oh, God. Oh. So then we move over to seven and eight. Well, here comes somebody in <laughs> Now you've got to tell these well, people. Eventually, no, I just moved. We oh just moved. God. <laughs> you did. What? Someone took your seat. <laughs> they took they, the whole time. They took my seat, but this—it's uh, so bad. It, you know, they were African American. That's it. Was, it. Was, there we go. <laughs> Say no more. You didn't want to end up on black Twitter. <laughs> That's I li- it. I literally thought I don't. I'll, want- I'll just sit here in the corner. And- <laughs> Honey, you sit in the front. So you're in the far right back, and she's in the far left front. <laughs> we met up after. Yes. You don't want to be that guy. I did not want to be. Can you throw me a sour patch kid across the uh, <laughs> auditorium. What are you doing here, seeing Megan? I didn't want to go up to an African American man and woman on and- MLK weekend. On MLK weekend, weekend and say. I think you're in my seat. That's I just didn't want to because I was afraid. Here comes the phone. And yeah. Look at this, Chad. Look at this guy. <laughs> so you just keep moving. Where'd you end up? Front row. <laughs> Stared straight up. <laughs> oh boy. Unbelievable. That's really true. I know. I wonder I how people deal with that because you know the few times that I've been to, to see movies, and it's been a long time. Right. I guess since the last comic book movie was mm-hmm. out, Spider Man maybe. Yeah. Is the manager is. Running the concession stand. 
Oh, yeah, that's it's true. all hands on that's deck. Right. So I don't know if the manager even has time to sort out seating disputes. There's nobody there. I mean, there, it, the, there's the, certainly no ushers. No, yeah. no, no. That's long gone. All that's gone. Yeah. So the experience was great because it was with my daughter, but the seating was off. It was the, expensive. The price. I mean, really. Twenty-seven dollars and something for two tickets to a four-thirty movie. Well, didn't Biggie say that to if you wanted to stream a new release, it's roughly it's thirty. 20, it's, it's well 30 twenty bucks. to thirty. That's yeah. right. Uh, because my wife wanted to stream the Fable ones, it was twenty, mm-hmm. and I said no, let's not. And she's like, well, you'll pay more than that going to the theater. I didn't even believe her. I mean, it's but twenty-seven dollars, and uh, it just, it, I mean, that just seems like it's pricing people out of the movies. You know, 27 bucks. It's, a, it's an event to go out and, and uh, do it, that for it, two people. It really yeah. is, yeah, for two people to go. This is my uh, factoid on uh, on the COVID vaccine. Dave, I know you've had it and I've had it. Yeah, vaccine and it. Me, yeah. Had both. Uh, me too. Mm. Maybe you, you had I've your, had it, yep. Did you get vaccinated? I did, yeah. And you still got COVID? Still had it, yeah. They say now a study was done in Israel. I don't think this affects any of the three of us, but it makes the vaccine they have said makes Botox injections wear off faster. Every you have to keep going back for Botox injections. The average is 118 days, and if you have the Pfizer vaccine, they noticed that people were coming back roughly 20 days earlier at around 98 days and the wrinkles, the wrinkles are back <laughs> the wrinkles are back they're losing 10 days worth 20 20, oh, 20, da- days, 20 worth. days worth wait they're- a minute does pfizer make botox, botox. Ooh. trying to increase your frequency Uh-oh. oh my god what a conspiracy what a conspiracy theory Here's your that tucker is. carlson show tonight <laughs> dermatologists in the u.s say we've seen a similar trend from botox users one doctor said uh that People are coming back about a month earlier than they used to, saying this is not lasting as long. And he started to put it together with, oh, you got to say that's quite a correlation. It is. Well, this is an Israeli study. And uh, the doctor did say, I still recommend you get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. You just have to see me four times a year instead of three. (laughs) I don't know about that. Come on in. I can't believe that. You know, here's a weird study, too. Uh, A different country as well. Dave, I'm glad you're here for this. It involves male pattern baldness. Oh, thanks. Okay. (laughs) Go ahead. I wanted to wait for you to get here to hear this now. Uh, It's been linked. Male pattern baldness has been linked. A study out of China to sugary foods and drinks. I believe it. The more sugar. They say soft drinks, juice, sports drinks, energy drinks, and sweetened coffee and tea have led to male pattern baldness. You think? You think Maybe I, I don't know. I think some of it's. Uh, I think a majority of that is probably hereditary. Hereditary. Yeah, that's been hereditary for centuries, Forever, right? Yeah. They also don't they say it's your um, not your father, but maybe the your like mother's a, father's you, what I was heard. Me too. And I don't know if there's any. I have no idea if that's accurate. Me neither. I'll tell you this though: my mother's father had a full head of hair, and I do as well. My father was bald. And my mom. My mom's dad had a full head of hair. Oh, so really? That. So it it's also, that. I think, um, you know, if you look at Middle Eastern nations, mm-hmm. more so than European, but Middle Eastern nations. A lot of those guys got full heads of hair. You know why? Med diet. Probably so, man. I'm telling you what. You get on this med thing, you're going to have energy for days. <laughs> I'm glad you're here to hear this, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> hummus? I could get, Chickpeas, lentils? I get you a hummus that will <laughs> yeah. knock your socks off, let me tell you. That triple thing over they got over at Trader Joe's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Knock you down. <laughs> Knock everybody around you down, that too. Is good. <laughs> that is good stuff. But, yeah, they're saying that uh, that male pattern baldness. What a strange thing, though, to link those two some things. Some of it's together. hereditary. I think some of it is is probably your diet, too, especially if if, if you're younger. You think? used to eat that crap all the time. Oh, I... Cokes and pizzas and sweets and... All the time. All the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, but is, the numbers of, of you know, baldness, are they going up? We don't have no idea. I mean, I that, that, you would think they'd have that. It's a good question. That that is a good uh, yeah, because the diets have certainly yeah. changed in the last seventy five years. Yeah, the average American diet. That'd be a good number to have. Have are are is there more balding today than there was in nineteen sixty five? You get that you know? study. That's tough. Yeah, that's... You know, because a lot of guys will shave their heads or mm-hmm. they'll get plugs. You know, oh, they'll, yeah. they'll, they're, they're, there are tons of procedures now. Yeah, to get your hair yeah, back. Some, some take it real short. 